Alright, so long. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shah and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Solomon to all the Akim out here that's doing their pushing the work and truth and the sincerity. I want to go in on this topic of nothing is more important than quote unquote God or the Lord, you know, or whatever y'all call them, man. Because us here at GMS, man, we call him Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. Yahweh, which is the Father, by Shem stands for the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the Son, man. You know, that's what we worship, man. Nothing is more important than that name, you know, because that's the name that's going to get us delivered, man. This is Luke uh, 21 and... 33, it says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. You know, the, 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 this is Yahweh Shah speaking, man. He's saying that this, this, everything as we know it, man, is going to get burned up by thermonuclear missiles, man. Including when the angels come and destroy this place, man. You know, so all of this stuff, the uh, America... As we know it, waking up, going to, to, to a 9 to 5 or whatever you got to do to make money, it's all going to be done away with, man. This dollar bill is fake. You know, it's fiat money. Uh, child support, you know, the, the, the women being messed up, man. All our people out here, drug addicts, whatever the case may be, man. Whatever is in, in, in front of you, man, nothing is more important than Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Nothing is more important than God. It says, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfing and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. You know, so... Thinking about, oh, your children, you know what I'm saying, more important than God, or you live your life for God, I mean, for, for your children, that's not the way to go, man, because your children get taken away from you, you know? Everything as we know it can really get taken away from you, man. Your car, whatever you, you hold dear to, you know? Your woman, your job, you know? So, so a lot of people, they don't understand. They just want to go to college, for example, and, and be, a, be a master's degree or, or, or get a degree in general, you know, but that's all going to get done away with, man. That's all going to get burnt up, you know? People want to uh, live to be rich, you know? For what, man? You know? And, and I did a video before, man, like... Before I came into the truth, I had money, man. And and all of this stuff that I'm saying to you, you know, this is all from experience, man. Nothing, you're not supposed to put nothing before our creator, you know. Nothing's supposed to come before Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Uh, this is 1 Peter. Um... Four. And I'm going to start at the third verse. It says, For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. You know, before we came into this truth, you know, knowing that you're an Israelite, we was all Gentiles, man, in the flesh. We done did so much craziness, man. Like, buying so much stupid stuff. You got people who still do that in, 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 in the truth, man. You know, but you got to cast away that old man. All the cares of this world... You know, you got to really put y'all by some y'all side first, man. You know, like I said, like I speak this from experience that the Lord 
you know, he gave me, you know, he blessed me, you know, according, you know, before the truth. But then he took all that away from me, man. It was to the point where I was really damn near homeless, man. You know? But this isn't about me, man. But throughout the whole time, man, the Lord never forsake, forsaken me, man. Because at the end of the day, I, I cast all my cares upon him, man. And not the cares of this world. You know? And, and, and through it all, the Lord really, you know, blessed me, man. He, he, what, what, enough to get through, man. You know, because I, I, I really, you know, had something before, you know. But now, I wouldn't take any of that back, man. You know? I wouldn't change anything that I had, man. Or that I went through. Because this is my real treasure, man. You know, and, and, and that should be for anybody who, who is in this truth, man. Your, your, your comfort should come from these scriptures, man, from the Lord, man. You know? Dwelling with the brothers in righteousness. Because that's another thing. People put their homies before everybody, man. Even if you even got the sand out here, bros before hoes, man. You know, where it's like whatever their homeboy say, then that's what it is, man. You know, these guys, two thirds of our people, you know, it's a shame for them to even speak about God or, or, or talk about that, man, because they equate everything to religion, man. But these people would rather talk about LeBron James or whatever sports events or whatever, you know. Before the Lord, man. Nothing is more important, man. Even studying the scriptures, man. You know? You got to study the scriptures and you got to apply them. You can't just sit up there and say, Oh, I'm not going to study right now, man. Um, or think about it, man. I'm going to... This, 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 this game come on, come, coming on, man. It's more important. Or my woman, you know... Cause a lot of a lot of these women, they they get they get these guys out the truth, man. You know, guys care about these women more than they care about the Lord, man. Um, let me get something from out the apocrypha. Uh, Baruch. Chapter 4 and 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. You know? Sound like, like I, I'm a, um, I'm going to worry about the, 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 the football game that's about to come on. You know, studying can, can wait. You know? I mean, you can, we're not trying to say that you can't enjoy life, you know, watch sports or whatever the case may be, man. But first and foremost, you're not supposed to be wicked with it and try to say, you know, that that's more important than God, man. Your mindset should be into these scriptures, man. You know? Or trying to get wisdom. You should be fearing the Lord, man. You know? You, you, it, hey, man, we all got things that we like, man. Pleasures of this world, man. But at the end of the day, this ain't our rest, man. That's basically the point, man. So, we're not out here to try to make a, a drug rehab program or, or try to fix black people. Because it's not just about black people, man. You got the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and then you also got some people that are Israelites that is going to look like their China. I mean, uh, the Chinese people, which are the uh, Moabites, or Edomites, which are so-called white people. You know, you're going to have our people look like everybody, man. You know, so at the end of the day, 
it's not just about trying to fix black people, man. Because that's one thing that people are into too. You know? Trying to fix black people. Or I gotta start up this rehab program. You know? Or uh, the women want to be having classes and try to teach women, other women, how to, how to be independent, man. Rather than what's in these scriptures. You know? And, and actually doing what the scriptures say that you're supposed to do, man. Uh, 1 John uh, 1 John 2 yeah, 2 and 15 it says love not the world you know this world is talking about the people, you know, of Israel, you know. But, you know, some people don't want to go into uh, the scriptures, you know, the, the going deep, man. You know, because there's many different meanings to the word world. It says, love not the world, you know, this is two-thirds of our people, you know, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You know? We're not supposed to be sitting up here trying to fix everybody, man. You know? Or, or hey, you, I know you was a homosexual in your past, or, or, or right now, you know? Come on in, man. We're going to try to get you up out of that. No, because when you come into this, man, you got to be in your right mind, man. You got to put your hot box in your side first. That's first and foremost, you know? And, and of course, we got people in GMS who basically they're, they're really considered undesirables, man. But the Lord going, going to remove them, man. The Lord is going to sift those people, man. But not a, I think the scriptures, I'm just paraphrasing it, say not, I think they say not a grain of wheat going to touch the, touch the ground, man. You know? So at the end of the day, if you get rebuked, you know, you got to put your cares up on your eyes and your side, man. You can't sit up there and say, oh, my name, because that's another thing, man. My name is more important than the Lord, man. So I got to bounce back with a review. That's not what that's not what this is about, man. It says, uh, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. And the, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So you got to, you got, you, you, like we always say, man, worldly niggas, you know, worldly women, you know, proud, proud, proud to have that life, man. There's people out here that's really going to be getting killed, man, for this scripture, for these, for these scriptures, man. You know, the men of the Lord, man. Really going to have to put their life on the line to so that they really have faith, man. So it's like trying to say that there's more important things than God, man. When God is the one that's going to deliver you, when that hell comes on you, you want to call on God at that point in time. After you done basically put everything before Him, man. Now that everything before you, before that you was doing, is taken away. Now all of a sudden, when your destruction comes, you want to call on the Lord, man. And that's one of the reasons why he's going to laugh at you, man. Because all y'all people who didn't want to take y'all rebukes, who didn't want to listen, take your reproof, you know, y'all want to get a, a, a dose of your own medicine, man. Because when when all this stuff out here in this world, you know, go to, go to chaos, man, we're not going to be sitting up there listening to y'all. You know, because y'all should have listened and y'all should have put the Lord first, man. And that's just the, the, the God honest truth, man. This is Ecclesiastes. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 
fear the Most High, or God, and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. You know? That's what we're supposed to be really doing, man. It's fearing the Lord, man, and keeping His commandments. Because as I said, man, the Lord, the, the Lord is going to destroy this place, man. And everybody on this planet is going to be under subjection to Yahweh by some Yahweh You know? So, that's the duty that we got to do, man, so that we can be counted worthy of escaping, you know, Lord willing, the, the, the hell when it comes, man. It says, for God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, you know? So no matter what you done did, man, the Lord is going to hold you accountable for everything that you did, man. Everything that you said. And that's why some people are going to live with the everlasting uh, contempt or everlasting shame, you know, because they didn't want to listen. Uh, Psalms 89 and 7. It says, God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all of them that are about him. You know? So, <laughs> the, 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 that, that's straight to the point, man. You know? You always got to reverence the Lord, man. If you're really about him, man. If he brought you up out of something, if he, if he done, done protected you from something, you give him reverence, man. You praise him. Pray constantly, man. Always praying, man. Never cease him, man. Like I said, man, you got to be really about this, man. You can't put nothing above the Lord, man, because everything out here is worthless, man. It's nothing worthy of standing over here on this side, man. The, the, the best word to explain everything is vanity, man. You know? And I'm going to say, I'm going to read this, you know, from all my Bible that I have. You know, I, I, I read it. Through the Spirit, it's a great thing, you know. It's basically uh, before the uh, the scriptures, you know, or basically how you know how it's de describing what the the, the the chapter is about, you know, the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, right? It says the Ecclesi the key word in Ecclesiastes is vanity. The futile emptiness of trying to be happy apart from God. You know? So, like I said, trying to say that there's more important things than God, man. That's a futile empty. You're going to be empty, man. No matter what, man. And like I said, before I had the truth, before I came into the truth, man, I was always feeling empty. You know? Buying a lot of games. You know? Sitting up there wondering, like, why the heck am I going through this, man? You know? I, I don't know what the heck is going on, man. Why? Because I was always feeling empty, you know? And it took the Lord, you know, to come into my life, you know, and fill me up, man. And now I, I haven't felt depressed or anything, man. I've really been good, man. <laughs> I've, been, I've been comforted, man. It says, uh, the preacher... Traditionally taken to be Solomon, the wisest, richest, most influential king of Israel and in his Israel history, looks at life under the sun, and from the human perspective, declares it all to be empty. Power, popularity, prestige, and pleasure, nothing can fill the God-shaped void in man's life but God himself. You know? So... It's, I'm gonna repeat the four things that they said: power, you know, popularity, prestige, and pleasure. You know, none of those things are more important than God, man. You chase all that stuff, you're gonna always feel empty. You're gonna always want more, man. But when you're going through these scriptures and you're trying to, you know, you find out the truth, you're gonna always want to. Get more knowledge, man. And this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding in the scriptures, man, 
is way more important, man, than anything out here. It says, but once seen from God's perspective, life takes on meaning and purpose, causing Solomon to exclaim, eat, drink, rejoice, do good, live joyfully, fear God, and keep his commandments. Skepticism and despair melt away when life is viewed as a daily gift from Yahweh and Yahweh. You know, and that's straight to the point, man. We live our life for the Lord, man. We don't try to make the Lord out to what we want him to be. You know, we try to be what the Lord wants us to be, man. You know, and that's what the real men are about. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises. You know, that and, and, and that's that's another thing too, man. People open, we open up our, our, our videos, man. And we say all praises, honor, and glory. You know, to Yahweh Basim Yahweh man. Because that's who it's really all about. So with that, I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing it, pushing the work, and truth and sincerity. Salawam.